Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here, bringing you another edition of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, you've got a good one. I've got a great one. I got a very controversial one. Go for it. The 40 Smith & Wesson is an obsolete cartridge. Obsolete, as in dead, as in no more, not a... I mean, it, so rumor has it, if you're, uh, if you're one of those guys that likes to argue with people on the internet and conversations that absolutely don't matter, then you will see that a lot of people are hating on the 40 Smith & Wesson. Oh, man. And I'm not going to say it's, it's obsolete as of yet, because obviously every ammunition manufacturer still makes it in a large quantity. Yeah. So. Does this mean all the people in the 1980s and 90s were wrong when it was the greatest cartridge in the world? It doesn't. So here's the deal. Here, here's my take on it. Ballistics then have come, you know, ballistics now have come a long way than what they were then, especially with, you know, your, your bonded, the way your bullets are bonded, your hollow points, different things like that. Terminal ballistics. Term, yes, terminal ballistics. So now you have a nine millimeter that can perform extremely well uh, as far as terminal ballistics are concerned. And even though the, that also applies to the 40 Smith & Wesson, so you're still getting a bigger hole in the target. But what's it matter if that hole that 9mm is now making is doing more than enough to stop the threat? Yeah, things have changed a little bit there. Uh, the 9mm is not the same cartridge it was 20, 30 years ago by a long shot. Um, the new yep. bullets let it do everything you ideally want it to do. Um, short of having a 50 caliber slug go through, I mean, it's, it's about all you could ask for. Yeah, and kind of the way I look at it, I'm a 9mm guy. I, I don't care. I, I, I understand the 45 ACP. You know, I get, I get that. That's a cool cartridge. It's, it's going to be around forever. Uh, fight me on that one. But the 40 Smith & Wesson, I've never really been a fan of. Because I've, like, as, far, as long as I've been carrying a gun, 9 mil has been, like, the cartridge as far as terminal ballistics yeah. goes. So I've never needed that extra recoil and snappiness because I have a 9 millimeter. So I can transition... So let's say this, right? Here's another one of the arguments. Let me, before I get ahead of myself, I'm just, I'm going all over the place with I this one. I see that. Yeah, so bear with me. So let's say, you know, I, I have a threat and, you know, God forbid I have to pull my handgun in self-defense. Let's say, you know, there's one attacker. You have 40 Smith & Wesson, 9 mil. It doesn't matter. Let's say I have multiple targets I'm shooting at, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I think, like, from my perspective, I'm gonna be able to transition to those targets faster with a nine millimeter, because I'm having to worry less about recoil management. You know, right. maybe I'm just working right. up this crazy scenario in my mind or whatever, but that's, that's how I look at it. Now, as far as the co competitive nature of the cartridge, the nine millimeter has it because you've got more capacity, you've got better recovery time, and it makes major. All of that. So the 40 was going to take care of some of that, but now it's no longer necessary. Yep. So 40 is still a good cartridge. I have three or four 40s, and one of my most accurate automatics is a 40 caliber. It's a uh, out-of-the-box Smith & Wesson 2.0, 5 inch, you know, the flat dark earth gun. Uh, the only thing I've done to it is add apex trigger to it. But that gun is remarkably accurate. So that, for that reason alone, I like the 40. Yeah, so I mean, I think for this myth, it's not it's not obsolete so myth busted as of as of may you know 2022 it's it's still a it's still a good cartridge by the way i was st still able to buy 40 out 40 caliber cartridges 40 caliber bullets and brass long after the nine millimeter was wiped out during the pandemic oh that's another good point so too. i was still out at the range shooting every day yeah so that's a, that's another great point yeah so that myth is pretty much busted. Yep, agreed, busted. All right, if you disagree, and I'm sure somebody does, everyone will leave us a comment. <laughs> leave us a comment below, and we'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters.